So the plan this time is to prepare. Next episode, no matter what, I want to do the Brain Scorcher. But in order to do the Brain Scorcher, I either need a ton more ammo or I need more Phantom Stars because I kind of want to do the Stealth Method. But of course, in order to do the Stealth Method, I need probably two more Phantom Stars, maybe another one just to be safe. And the likelihood that I find that many is pretty low. So let's just see what we can do. Let's see, a bear detector requires resistors, uh, capacitors, transistors. And okay, so it all requires the same stuff. So I just need to get out as much as I have. Now, hopefully I have enough to upgrade it. I can definitely get that, but can I get... No, I'm off by quite a lot with the pack of capacitors. That's fine. This should be good enough for now. So the goal is to obviously get more money to buy more ammo, but while we're doing that, we'll also be checking out anomalies when we get nearby some to see if we can find more phantom stars. Dude wants my baked beans. I am so sorry, but I would never give you those baked beans. Well, since we're going to be using this helmet for a while, it'd probably make sense to just go ahead and upgrade it, assuming we can. Wait, what am I doing running like all the way over there? I'm pretty sure I can just upgrade it from my inventory as long as I have a uh, heavy kit in my inventory. So yeah, I'm pretty sure open and then upgrade. Yeah, I can do it from here there was no reason for me to do that and radiation is way more important there we go yep so now we got 10 percent more radiation resistance and we also have the plus 12 stamina recovery so that should help out a lot especially since we're probably gonna be using this helmet for a while unless i can find a spartan or an exo helm relatively soon uh we do have a few white stashes here i might as well go around and grab those really quickly since they're all within the uh, freedom base area all right what are you gonna give me and uh i mean fentanyl is pretty decent i guess all right so there's a white stash right over here in this tree stump and a uh, medium patchwork i mean cool oh i was wondering how close that was gonna get to me because i was gonna check maybe like down here real quick if there is an artifact like really close to the edge Oh, I do see an artifact right there, but it doesn't... Yeah, ooh. Uh, I immediately take damage, and that's not a Phantom Star, so I'm not going to worry about it. It's right there. Yeah, that's a bracelet. Ooh, I almost walked right into that. That would have been bad. Actually, wait. I just thought of it. I need to do Living Legend Call of the North still. That is something I have not done, because, I mean, I don't think you have to do it in order to do the Brain Scorcher, but I could be wrong. So maybe I should see about buying some ammo real quick, and maybe we'll do that. Hey, buddy, I need, like, all your FMJ. Thank you. And I would buy all your AP, but that's also really expensive. But uh, here, you can have four of those. I mean, that's pretty good money and that. You know what? We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Let's go, you know? It's not like I said that last episode when we we went to outskirts and then proceeded to get absolutely bumfucked 118 bullets i don't think is enough to do this but you know we'll 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 be fine we'll we'll figure it out right one of these days i'll be running around and there will be a random artifact on the ground and it will make me very happy jesus okay can you like uh there we go Man, it's normally worth killing these guys for their, like, medical supplies that they drop, but they're not really giving me anything good. All right, time to do this. I wonder how good of an idea this is going to be. Uh, why are you running from me? Gatekeeper? Gatekeeper? Hello? Oh my god, he's going to go fight the flesh. Are you kidding me, man? Whatever. I'll just, uh, you know, loot some stuff up here while you decide to fight dumb shit. Why in the world do I have 23 freaking vodka on me? Hello? Um... I did not notice I had all that on me. Uh, please just go off onto him for now. Okay, gatekeeper, like, you're taking way too much time. Where in the world did you go? Oh my god, here he is. You know what? I did quick save by the fire, so, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and talk to him. There we go. I've been, uh, blah, blah, blah. I got it. There we go. And huge lag. Oh, yep. That always happens. They, they can wait a little bit while I pop this. They'll be fine. Uh, it makes me hungry. Yeah, sorry guys, you guys can deal with the monolith for a second. You know, my dude is like extremely hungry, so I need to eat. Sorry. Oh, and now he's thirsty. I gotta drink. Sorry. Don't worry guys, I'll be I'll be helping in a second. I just need to drink. Okay, the fact that it's silent now is is not good. That means they killed all the freedom guys that were over here already. So uh, yeah, M maybe if I sneak, I can get over here. Oh, oh they're all right there. Oh, I killed one. Oh. Oh, crap. Out of ammo. Seminov, you'll be fine. Wait, am I getting shot at from, like, down there? Oh, my God. I, I don't even see where the dude is at. Eh, Seminov, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Bro, they are just lighting him up over and over again. I still, I think because he's considered a, like, important NPC, he just doesn't die.
Got him. Come on, peek, peek, peek. Wait, did I kill him? I think I might have killed him with that last bullet. Oh! 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 oh. Bro, he freaking nailed me, like, right in the head. Holy crap. That was insane. I was not expecting to get nailed in the head like that. Nope, run back, run back, run back, run back. Don't get hit. Oh, dude, big lag. Whoa. Can you, like, a gatekeeper? I swear, a gatekeeper looks so much like a monolith soldier. Every time I see him. There you go, got him. Bro, how in the world? I swear, I get damaged so hard that the bandages don't do anything at all. All right, wait, where's this last guy? There he is. Seriously? Wait, there's more? Dude, I swear I've killed them all. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, is there like some dude that's just like barely alive? Yeah, right there. Hey, we did it. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too terrible. Hi, gatekeeper. That was a close call. Yep. See, that wasn't that bad. I mean, it, co it did cost literally all my ammo, but it wasn't that bad. Okay, game. Calm down with the radiation. Jesus. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't too bad. I was expecting to like use all my ammo and use all my like medical supplies, but surprisingly, I only used all my ammo. I feel I feel like there were more guys probably like over this way that my companion might have killed or maybe not. Yeah, huh. I, I guess that was uh almost all of them. AK-74 and Venom, dude, I swear they just want me to use an AK-74. It's wild how many they give me. But yeah, I think that's it. I, I'm not seeing, I'm pretty sure I already looted that dead body. So yeah, we, we killed them all, which is uh, quite surprising. All right, time to head back to uh, Freedom Base real quick so I can get healed up. And then also so I can drop off those 24 vodkas that I for some reason have on me. The only problem that we're going to have now is the fact that I have zero ammo. That's going to be probably the biggest issue because I've already bought all the ammo that my guy over here at the Freedom Base has. So I'm going to have to see if I can craft more. And if I can't, well, <laughs> well, there's nothing I can do. Oh, wait, I just realized something. Wait, I can give all this uh, vodka to the guy in uh, Yantar, right? For uh, ammo. I don't know if I can give him the this other stuff or if it's just this. Here, I'll take it all with me, maybe, just in case. All right. Hey, hello, buddy. And I will give you literally all that, a 7K. Those are freaking... Why do I have Lapua? When in the world did I get some Lapua rounds? What in the world? Yeah, so let's see. Wow. I made a total of <laughs> three mags worth. Great. Great. Well, this is actually terrible. I have no other way of putting it. But hey, at least the monolith gave us plenty of grenades. I mean, I only had one when we started and I threw it right away. Now I have eight. That's pretty nice. But first, let me heal up real quick. I do feel like this guy should charge a lot more for healing you. How much does it ta cost again to go to Yantar? 5k? Is it worth 5k, man? Uh is it no i feel like it's better for me to just run over there because i can run through dead city real quick and see if i uh can get any new quests or huh do i run through dead city or do i run through uh raw stock i feel like raw stock would give me more quests but i kind of need to get my rep up with my mercenary brothers so that'd probably be a better idea i wish i had a pistol i could use so i could keep this out at all time and actually feel like somewhat secure but according to the wheel i'm only allowed to have one gun at a time <laughs> i will actually peek over this ridge real quick assuming there's no mutants down there i do kind of want to see if maybe there is an artifact down there uh let's see i'm kind of not seeing it so it might not be a perk artifact yeah that's not a that's not a perk artifact that's a normal artifact whatever i'm not the artifact man all i want is uh some phantom stars man dude what is with this lag that's happening right now holy crap you know i just remembered i did plan on reinstalling the uh aiden's grass tweaks to make it summer for this episode but uh i kind of forgot about that so uh that'll be a next episode thing when we do the brain scorcher all right my faction i swear to god you better actually have quests for me contract killer and outskirt i mean i'll accept it but that's not exactly what i wanted to do for y'all okay i mean they do have quests for like things that i think i have at home like i think i have some controller hands so i'll go get that i'll just accept what i think i have and i'll bring it to them later like advanced tools i think i have one to give them i do have a clear all the mutant mission and then a capture enemy documents mission here but if you'd remember though that area right there is the one with the strong psi effects so me running over here if i were to try to do it i would just die again so uh, it's not really worth doing it unless i could find like a couple of scars maybe because yeah i'm pretty sure last time i was here if i just poke my head in for like a second it's immediate insane damage let's see yep look at that look at my psi health in the bottom left holy crap that was two seconds two freaking seconds yeah that's ridiculous all right to yantar i have no idea why when you come through this way your companion spawns underground for some weird reason so as you can see right now he's running through the tunnel where the like freaking <laughs> where the pseudo giant was 
It makes no sense why he's down there. I have no idea, but that's just how it is. There you go. I hope I don't accidentally complete his quest, because all he wants to do is kill mutants here. Which I don't know if he like automatically gets removed from my party or not. Excuse me? Where is this uh I mean I see it, but like Oh, that's Oh my god, wait. Oh that dude, see I was like throwing it to figure out where it was. It was right there. Well, that's a lot of damage. My freaking leg, dude. And once again, I'm just gonna take a shit ton of this sulfa shit and uh this'll heal my leg. It'll also deal a ton of damage to me. But uh oh, oh hi. Oh, there's some snorks down here. Really? Man, these guys are taking a lot more bullets than I would have thought. Like, seriously. All right, now, do you all have any quests? Deliver a package to Army Warehouse? Well, I can do that, because I'm going to be going over there. Truck Cemetery, whatever, I'll grab it. I am not giving you expert tools. Sorry, bud. Brought some vodka, and now... It's by 45 that I'm asking for, right? I'm not going crazy, right? 45 by 39. Ah, no, 45. Ah, I'm stupid. I'm fucking stupid. I bought the wrong thing. It's fine. I can I can batch disassemble this. I know that's that was a waste, but whatever. There we go. Well, I got some more ammo. Well, this trip, I'm going to be real, wasn't super worth it. But uh, I think what I'll do is I'll run over here real quick and kill this uh, guy I need to kill for Aslan. Now, I am currently disguised as a clear sky member. So this guy over here shouldn't be hostile to me. All right, it's just, oh my God, it's a legendary freaking loner okay i was gonna come here and like knife him from behind but i don't think that's gonna kill him um okay uh i'm making sure there is no one around to possibly see my betrayal and hopefully he dies in 11 bullets because i only have 11 bullets that ecologist won't give a shit so i'm pretty sure we'll, we'll be good i've got only 11 ap dude there we go no one else cares right you don't care right you don't care right yeah, see, he doesn't care. He doesn't mind. Oh, wow, he had a sphere helmet. Uh, too bad I already have it. Yeah, I guess I will go down to aggro prom. I wasn't really planning on doing it, but I could do these two missions, go to garbage, and then grab these statues, kind of wrap everything up. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and clear off the map a little bit. And while we're on our way, we can... Oh, wait, what? I was about to say I can look for artifacts, and then it beeped when I pulled it out. Hello? Um, okay. Well, there's nothing nearby. I guess it was just beeping to troll me. I know I probably should have mentioned this in the beginning of the episode, by the way, but if you're new to the series, basically what I do is whenever I have enough stuff to repair a weapon, I repair it and then spin the wheel. That is why I only have this one weapon and nothing else to use because it told me that I could only use this weapon. Oh, I already hear mutants as soon as I get into here. Great. Oh, oh, that, oh, that's all. That's a lot of, wow. Um, that's, that's kind of a lot going on. I'm gonna let them maybe kill each other. Or maybe, ooh, throw that grenade, right? Perfect grenade, right? Oh, that was actually a great grenade. I did a good job. All right, that one's dead. There you go. Well, the grenade, in my opinion, was uh, very worth it right there because I would have rather not gotten absolutely swarmed by a ton of mutants. Just, like, look at how many were down here. This is crazy, dude. Is there actually, like, straight up nothing over here? Oh, there is. Hey. Hey, Clear Sky Brothers. You know, Yeah, we're totally brothers, right? You guys know who I am. Oh, it's up there. I see it. Uh, he, Bro, watch. He's going to pick it up. I know what's going to happen. He's literally going to walk right there, and he's going to pick it up somehow. I've seen this happen before. It's, it's just a tapeworm, though. Dude, I can't freaking reach it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh, I got it. I, military. Um, Why don't you guys have someone guarding right here? Wait, what in the world? Hello? Are the military even home? Yeah, I see a guy up there. Hopefully they don't recognize that I'm obviously... Oh, nope. He recognized. Dude, I love hearing Granada and then just like an explosion. Yeah, I'm I'm stupid right now. My brain isn't working. I was like, oh yeah, I'm totally friends with military right now as clear sky. Totally. Yeah, let's just uh, leave right now. 
I don't want to fight the entire uh, base. Let's get going. It's duty. Do you see, like, I'm getting my, like, last playthroughs, like, mixed up together in my head. All right. Does anyone here have any interesting quests? I sucker meet pseudo giant hide. Yeah, dude. I don't think I'm going to get, you know, pseudo giant hide. Empty syringes. I mean, I'm not going to ask what you're go. Okay. There's a poltergeist somewhere. Uh, cool. Really? I broke my legs right there? Well, not really. It didn't actually damage me, but like, bruh. All right, let's see. Are you the guy that wanted the uh, syringe, I think? Or wait, no. You? There we go. This guy over here wanted the dog meat. Maybe he'll give me a stash. Job is done and 650. Wow, I'm really getting paid the big boy bucks right now. Now, let's see. Uh, I don't know if I want to go for that stash considering it's like pretty close within the uh, military site, but I will definitely go over there for Sidorvis just shipment. Even though I have random artifact chance turned up, like I swear they just don't exist. I mean, every time I run around with this uh, out, I still haven't found one, but uh, yep, let me just grab Sidorvis just shipment and we're good on that one. Hi, how are you guys doing? You guys doing good? Yep hi anyways uh let me just grab whatever's here oh a red line leather jacket that's actually great if you uh, need to run and oh sounds like uh it's good that we're inside right now an emissions happening cool actually i think this uh red line leather jacket is still glitched there's a glitch where if you have it on when going through a um loading zone and then you take it off and put it back on instead of you being like 30 percent faster now you're 60 percent faster i remember that being a glitch here guys i will light the fire for you this is a show of friendship oh just gonna have to chill here and wait a little bit uh i guess i'll go get the tracking device oh i, I really don't have hp actually no screw it i don't have the hp if it's like more than a couple of mutants i really don't have enough it'd be better to just run through here all right it should be ending let's go ahead and start running because by the time we get out it should be over yep there we go now the thing is there's bandits on the other side of here i could could stay as a clear sky and kill the bandits or i could just like you know take off my outfit and be friends with them so i think let's just uh take it off and be friends with them all right there we go and since we're identified as a merc right now uh we shouldn't get attacked at all and we can just kind of run in and save this dude which is pretty funny to me because uh these bandits are sitting here waiting and i'm just gonna come in and be like yeah come with me if you want to live <laughs> Easy. Hey, buddy, I'm gonna need literally all your HP. Thank you. That is such a good price, honestly, for all that HP. Uh, kill mutants, sure. Dog meat, sorry, I can't give you that much. It is so easy to get up here now because of the ledge grab mod. So nice. All right, let's make sure the bandits, or like, hope the bandits don't see me because I just need to quickly run out here so I can grab this other stash. And man, there are still no artifacts. I swear artifacts just don't exist. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man. I have the random chance on. I don't think they exist. All right, Makarov, totally the best gun in the game. Now there's typically an artifact like right here and it's typically easy to see. Yeah, it's right there. And you know, it's not a phantom star. That's unfortunate. I think I can run in pretty easily and grab this. There we go. Who in the world turned this fire on down here? What in the world? Oh, I saw a bloodsucker right there, I think. Uh, might want to swap over. Pretty sure I saw a bloodsucker. I'm like 90% certain. Oh, oh, it's a side sucker. Cool. There you go. I was gonna say, I'm trying not to waste too much ammo. All right, now, um, who am I supposed to save over here? I probably should have checked that. I know I'm supposed to save a mercenary, but like, um, yeah, it says we're enemy forces. Yeah, wait, who, who in the world am I supposed to be saving? Um, would you like some help, buddy? Oh, this is the guy I'm supposed to be saving. Um, please don't die to this guy. Yeah, so this guy has the SVD. Yeah, this guy has the SVD. So that's who I'm supposed to save. Oh yeah, dude, they killed the mercs here. That's unfortunate. And also, uh, ooh, this guy had a packet. Dude, this guy had a ton of stuff on him. Maybe I gave him a package earlier because it's really rare for me to find packages. Ooh, ammo, nice. And you, sir, what do you have? You had some more ammo. That's also nice. I really shouldn't be going ooh nice about my dead mercenary friends, but uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Well, I guess I should uh, kill these duty guys as quickly as possible. So there's like one right. Really? Wow, they really did. Oh, hello, dude. You're supposed to. Okay, dude. There's, there's got to be more. 
Where's the other duty? Because he's not joining me. I just killed them. He's not joining me. He's supposed to be... The guy with the SVD is the guy that I'm supposed to be rescuing. There we go. Jeez, dude. I freaking came here to rescue you, and what do you do? Shoot me in the freaking back with an SVD? That's messed up. At least he didn't damage my legs. That's all that matters. Yeah, dude. I, I always hate it when there's, like, just one dude left, and the guy with the SVD doesn't join you. It's like, dude, come on. Uh, wait. What in the world? Hold on. I got a scouting expedition down there, and then I've got uh the hunting. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to go down there real quick. Also, I have another stash right there where I looted before. That's interesting. But first, I have a white stash over here so i might as well come and grab that hi buds oh it's this thing right here right yeah all right and i mean bro this is always so weird when you get one of these because i don't even know what they're supposed to give you like when you grab it what is it supposed to give me like see i can't even click on it so whatever hi um do you have a multi-tool on you by chance the answer is no well that's unfortunate all right now well, we can go kill these mutants and help out our little scouting expedition before we do that though i should probably just go ahead and uh do that get that up I don't need people to discover that I'm uh, not exactly a clear sky member. Because from what I remember last time when I was doing disguises, it is kind of brutal to where if you go under like 90% on a suit, they are way, way, way more likely to recognize you. But I did get that achievement for staying near people for five hours. So apparently it's supposed to make it way harder for them to see through my disguise. So maybe it's actually not that bad. There we go. Coal hunting done. All right, let's see. So uh, the scouting expedition is over that way. But in order to get to him, we have to kind of go around this like hill right here. So let's see what's over here. I probably shouldn't be like running straight in. But, uh, you know, we don't do things smart here. As I said, we don't do things smart here. Oh, I see him. I was really trying not to shoot and kill my comrades like I've done so many times before. Please don't go through that loading zone. Here, come down here. Come down here. I don't want to go through the loading zone. Uh, Wait, who do I need to... There we go. Job is done. 6750. There we go. Jeez, where in the world were you guys before? Deliver package to Great Swamps? Sorry, bro. What about you? Uh, Nothing. Okay, gotcha. I don't know why this uh the chemical anomalies deal just like so much damage. Like an incredible amount of damage. Also, wait, I had a freaking stash right here. When in the world did I get this? All right, give me that. Ooh, an SKS. That's fun. Why in the world is Butcher all the way outside of the station? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. He, dude, where's Butcher going? Hello? Hold on. Butcher, I need to turn this quest into you. Please don't run away. Oh, I see the artifact. It's like, what? ah, uh, nope. Taking too much damage. See, this is what I mean, dude. That one tick of damage is so much. Plus, it's just, I think it was a tapeworm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a tapeworm. So, it's not worth it. I am not finding any phantom stars, man. I am uh, getting sad. Uh, what, Kim? Oh, dude, it's it's terrible. It's literally worse than my clear sky suit. See? It's 2% less. All right, let's see about this, like, uh, white stash that's up here. Right here. Come on. And, ooh, a chimera hunter. You know what? I will grab it just for the for the memes. But I swear to God, my uh, wheel better not tell me to use it. Aw, dude, this uh, random freaking clear sky dude is dead right here. That's sad. Wait, what in the world happened out here? Holy crap, dude. There's a bunch of just dead stuff right here. Did the freaking mutants decide to launch a full-on offensive? Jesus, dude, look at the amount of mutants here. They literally launched an offensive on the station. All right, hey, buddy. Job is done. Give me my money. And uh, I will buy even more ammo because I will probably need it no matter what. So there you go. Just give me a ton of the ammo. And my dude is sleepy, and so you know what that means. It is time for my dude to feel the sweet embrace of uh, the night. Oh my god, that was 12 hours. I actually had no idea that was 12 hours. Um, Oops, sorry, dude. I didn't intend for you to sleep that long. <laughs> I, like, legitimately didn't know that would have been 12 hours because I didn't really check. All right, well, my, my dude should be very, very, very well rested after 12 freaking hours. Well, I do have Sidorovich's shipment on me, so I think we do kind of have to go down to Corden, even though that definitely was not the plan for this episode. For this episode, my main thing that I was thinking was going to happen was like, oh, I'll go around to a couple of, you know, anomalies and we're going to easily find, you know, uh, some of the Phantom Stars. Yeah, then no, that's not happening. Bro wants me to kill some more stuff. Sure, dude, I'll accept it for now. 
Snork legs, sure. Who wants those snork legs? Some random dude out there. Sure, I'll give it to you in a second, bud. All right, that's close enough. You know what? That, that's 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 more than enough. We're at like what, 70%, 80% health? That's good enough for me. And you, do you have any water on you? No, you don't. Um, okay, cool. I mean, I do have this, but I'd rather not drink it here. I'll drink one of these. I got five of them. Might as well, dude. All right, here's your uh, snork legs. 43.50. That's decent. All right, boys, let's get our move on. Got to go down to Corden. Now, the smart idea would be, since I don't have anything to do up here, it would probably be better to go right here. So I come out, uh, where is it? Right here, because that's closer to where I need to be. While I'm over here, I could also grab that uh, white stash that I have. Let's try not to kill anything. No reason to kill the flesh or nothing. I will, however, keep this out, and maybe we can uh, find a random artifact for once. I really need to get rid of some of these guys, though, because every time they get 50 meters away from me, it makes that freaking PDA noise, and it is the most annoying thing. See, listen, there you go. There's one. Where's the other guy? Come on, make the PDA noise again. I'm running as fast as I can. And, ooh, AK-74 and a Colt. I mean, that's pretty cool. You know, I should be grabbing a bunch of pistols. That way I could roll for, like, maybe a sidearm, right? Because that would make a lot of sense. Like, just roll for um, what sidearm I should use. That way I can actually have more than one gun. There's normally mutants, like, right out here. So there's probably going to be something here. It's, it's rare that there's nothing out here. That's the only issue with coming through this way is normally there's, like, mutants all right here. But it, do it looks like we might actually be safe for once. There is a lot of gunfire going on, however. I wonder how uh, this place is doing, considering the last time I was here, I literally killed everyone. Except for the traitor, of course. You know, I would never kill the traitor or anything, but I did kill everyone else who was here. And this guy has a freaking exo, dude. Look at him. Reverse bounty hut bandit in accordance. Sorry, I can't kill my bandit bros. Uh, you should buy some sashes and clear sky this. Just get a lot of materials fast. Oh! Why are you all, uh... Oh, are you guys fighting bandits? Bruh. You know what? Sure. How about this? I will accept your thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who just pulled a grenade pin? I heard that. Here, I'll accept it. Because I'm pretty sure it's... Yep, the bandit is literally right here. That's that's absolutely hilarious. I That's why I accepted it. Because I knew the bandit was probably literally right outside. That's kind of hilarious. That's probably the easiest mission I think I've ever accepted in my life. Except now he's like all the way over there. Hello? Excuse me? Why are you so far away? Bro, look at him. He's running, dude. What are they doing? Guys. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die, dude. Let me turn in the quest. Let me turn in the quest. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Uh, job is done. There we go. Now you can die. I don't really care about you now. Also, there's normally artifacts in here. Is there literally not a single artifact in here? This Now, this is weird. I Every time I've come through here, there's always been an artifact. So the fact that there's not an artifact is actually really confusing. All right, Sidorovich, let me get rid of this crap, dude. Here you go. Job is done. Have your shipment. How much is his beard stay? Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, just give me a little bottle of water, buddy. Wow, I am, like, way more broke than I thought I was. I mean, I did buy, like, a ton more ammo, but, like, I am actually incredibly broke. All right, there's a lot of guys down here, so you guys should give me, like, a new mission, right? Deliver a package to Yantar. Yantar, Army Warehouse. I'll take the Army Warehouse one, because I got to go there anyways. Travel backpack? Dude, you can kiss me, dude. I ain't giving you that. Monolith faction patch? Sure. Dude, who, who, what kind of dude down in Rookie Village wants monolith faction patches? Like, I, <laughs> the only thing I can think of is it's just some random dude that wants to show off and be like, yeah, look at me. I killed the monolith. Like, seriously, I'm pretty sure that's what this guy is going to do. He's going to run around and be like, yeah, that's right. I killed the monolith. I can, like, realistically see that happening. Like, some dude just, like, looking to trade for a single monolith faction patch just so he can be a show off. All right, there you go. 40-50 on that. Yeah, let me just double check that I grabbed everything, and then we'll probably get out of this area, because I don't want to... If only I had my pseudo-giant eye on me, I could have done that, but I, I don't, so whatever. Ooh, they gave me a yellow stash up here. I guess I uh, will go back up there. I was going to maybe help out the clear sky guys, but uh, yeah, never mind. I guess I'm going back up. I love that the game is trying its absolute hardest for me not to help clear sky. Like, you know, every playthrough I've ever done, I think I always go to clear sky and do their shit first and help them out. But this time it's like, nah, dude, you can't go there. You help them out too much, dude. They're your favorite faction. We can't have you keep helping them. All right, there's no one here, right? Oh, there is. Um, hi. Um... If I take off my outfit, will you guys be friends with me? Wait, where'd he go?
you know, I should really be helping the bandits instead of killing them, but you know what? As long as I'm disguised, I don't lose any reputation with them, so I guess it's not really that bad of a thing. All right, what is it? Uh... This is probably one of the, like, least exciting yellow sashes I think I've ever found, but cool. Basic tools, you know, that can sometimes be good. Oh! Okay, I did not mean to fall through there. But, uh, yeah. Alright, let's see what's in here, and oh, wow, it's got Dr. Sausage. That's actually great. See, that was a better stash than the yellow stash, because at least I got food with this one. Actually, while we're here, let me see if I can buy a, a multi-tool real quick. That'd be great. Actually, now that I do have basic tools, I could, assuming I have an advance at my base, I could give it to our Merc friends so I can level them up. All right, I think what we'll do is we're going to really quickly run over here to Dark Valley, turn those, or do those two quests, and then run over here and grab everything in Truck Cemetery, and that should be it. I mean, I could run through Meadows. Honestly, going through Meadows might not take as long. So yeah, dude, we'll go through Meadows real quick. That's fine. I'm sure that is something that you rarely hear anyone ever say in their life. Oh yeah, let's just go through Meadows. All right, we're in Meadows been a while since i've been here actually i think it's the first time i've ever been here in this playthrough if i'm thinking correctly now i do have a prototype detector mission right over here do i just yeah i guess i go ahead and go get that whatever am i going crazy or does this building no this building's fine why do i seem to remember something bad about this building oh well i hear something Oh, that's some snorks. I don't really care about that. Oh, we got the prototype detector, so we're getting way down even more with a five kilogram item now, which is just absolutely great. I think the snork just ran into that. Uh, well, not my problem. Now, besides these uh, dogs right here, there are a few issues that I'm going to have here in Dark Valley, and one of which is being that I don't have a bandit outfit or a mercenary outfit. All I have is this clear sky thing, so I guess I can tear off the patch now. And okay, this time it worked. See, people will think I'm a part of the mercenary community. All right, cool. That way I don't have to take it off because that was not working before. Well, goodbye, dog. Rest in peace. This is all that's left of that poor dog. And grab whatever's in there. Good, we're good. All right, we got to kill like some military over here. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And as far as this goes, my dude is like getting freaking tired over and over again. So wait, who's that right there? Is that a bandit? I think that's a bandit. No, that's a controller. Oh my God. I was like looking at that thing. I was like, man, that thing looks weird. Yeah, that's a controller. It would have been easier to shoot it when it was on the bridge. Uh, so I'm going to like ignore it for now. And we're gonna keep moving. All right, so there's military right there. Oh, dude. I swear this happens every time. They just like nail me somehow. Like absolutely freaking nail me. What in the world? Oh, I thought he was dead. He hello? Bruh. A freaking lurker came and got me. I mean, I did say I heard it earlier. This time, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run straight for the bandit base, and then we'll kind of loop back around. The main reason for that is I'd like to get the lurker, probably. But I can just go ahead and run down here and grab this uh, white sash, since it's still here. Yeah, see, there. Right there is that. That's the lurker. Got it. All right, here. Let me go turn this mission in real quick. Hey, Sultan. Job is done. 7950 and an army warehouse. Wait, wait, wait. What in the world? I have a lot of army warehouse quests to turn in. Oh, deliver, deliver. Zone raker, huh? Okay. All right. Now that the lurker is dead and I won't have any crazy surprises, we should be able to kill this military dude pretty easily. I don't actually know how many people are there, but there was just that one guy who attacked me. So maybe we'll have a nice and simple time over here. There's another guy. I heard him speaking. There you go. Oh, wow. AKS-74U Tactician. I actually really like that gun, but I'm trying not to use it. All right. Is there anyone in here? Uh, the answer looks like no. Cool. Actually, yeah. I'm 99% I have one. I was going to grab it, but I'm pretty sure I have it. There is a white sash here, but I'm pretty sure it's the one that's like all the way upstairs. And therefore, I, I, I don't care about it. I'm just going to ignore it for now. We need to get our butts to Truck Cemetery. Flesh meat. Sure. Monolith and Army Warehouse. Sure. All right. Here you go. He gave me a wretched. Thank you. And you, buddy, job is done. All right, let's hurry up and go to Truck Cemetery because we have been diddy daddling around here way too long. All right, immediately head to our left, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if there's any military over there. I'm not seeing anyone. 
Yeah, so it looks like we're good on that. But there should be a dead duty soldier right over here. And here is the poor dead duty soldier who I'm pretty sure is in a similar location to the last one. Oh my god, he got attacked by two bloodsuckers. That is very unfortunate. Like, actually unfortunate. Fight well when I do that. Also, I clicked the wrong button. No, I clicked the wrong button. Please stop it. Why'd you inject yourself? That was an accident. I literally didn't mean to click that. Wow. A renegade SIVA suit. I have never seen this before, but I'm pretty sure someone told me I could give the SIVA suit to um, my guys at the Merc base and they would accept it. So uh, yeah, let me do that. Put it that in there. And then right down here is a yellow sash. Ooh, advanced tools. That's great. There we go. Yeah, now I can give advanced tools to Hog. That's great. You have to give, oh, it has to be a 100% condition suit. Okay, well I can repair it then. That's fine. I'll get it 100. That's not that big of a deal. Now, this is a truly dumb idea. I shouldn't be running around with this out in freaking <laughs> truck cemetery. This is actually a bad idea. All right, search the stash up here. And oh no, yeah, it's the locked case. I forgot about that. Oh my God, I am gonna be, yep, so way down. Oops, I really should have made a masculine meal or something. Hey, uh, duty friend, would you like to carry like um, some stuff on you? All right, since we're over this way, might as well just go ahead and get this out of the way and kill the mutants, whatever's over here. Well, at least the game is being nice to me and just giving me zombies. It could have been way worse. All right, where's the last one? Up here? They're all like running up here. So yeah, yeah, that's this guy. There we go, destroy mutants complete. I don't know why it's not making the PDA sound. That is very strange, but uh, cool. Now all we gotta do is find this prototype detector, which I really, really don't wanna do, but I guess we're gonna do it anyways. Oh, uh. A uh, bunch of flesh here. You guys don't worry about me. I'm just like taking a, a quick trip through here. Now, the one thing I need to be really careful of, which I learned last time, is when you go to this base over here, it sometimes also has renegades. And renegades aren't my friends, despite the fact that bandits are my friends. So, yeah, let's uh, make sure I don't get shot in the head by a freaking renegade. Let's see, that guy up there. See, that's a renegade right there. There you go, got him. Because last time I came here, I teleported here and I started running that way and that guy up there literally sniped me in the back of my head. All right, yep. Ooh, he had actually had a decent stuff on him. Oh shit, Oop. I did not mean to fall that far, but whatever. Jeez, I swear, I told you, this game just wants me to use freaking AKs, man, I swear. I did just realize that there could be uh, duty right here um, and putting on, yes, that's duty. Uh, let's just go up this way and pretend they don't exist. We'll be fine. Just run up here to pretend they don't exist. We're fine. Woo, we made it back to Army Warehouse. Time to turn in all these thick freaking missions we have. Like you, here you go. Here's your package, bud. And then here's your freaking locked case, dude. Job is done. All right, as much as I'd love to go through and uh, put some stuff up and organize, we do have two more missions to turn in right here. Hey, buddy, I got something for you. Thank you for the vodka. And the final quest to turn in where wait what huh oh this is the wait i have a freedom spy oh yeah it's this guy right or it's like uh here hold on hold on no no he disappeared i put stuff on him no 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 no. oh okay guys i gotta reload i forgot i have stuff on him and i just teleported him there oopsie daisy all right luckily i saved like literally right as we uh came in here so not too big of a problem let's uh go ahead and just put some junk up off of him before we uh accidentally disappear him hey buddy um yeah see look this is how much stuff he had on him this is how much stuff i was about to lose hey buddy i know i just saw you but that was like a different world a different universe you know a different life there you go all right let's let's say goodbye to our little uh friend who has the svd there we go thanks for pulling my nuts out of the fire stalker see you around that's right job is done 7500 in a dark valley stash and it's a yellow so gotta remember that for next time all right really quickly go over here and sell all this since we have all that easy uh 6k quite nice all right well we didn't really get that much done towards the goal but next time we will be going to the brain scorcher and attempting to do the phantom star method so i'll see you guys next time peace